Hi, and welcome to another video. Today, let's have a look at another simple concept in Kotlin language. Kotlin language, or specifically standard library of Kotlin language, comes with plenty of handful methods, and some of them we will have a look at today. We have this coerce at least, coerce at most, and coerce in. But before we look into them, let's have a quick look what coerce means, because if you're not a native English speaker, then this might be not obvious. So coerce means to pursue someone forcefully to do something that they are unwilling to do. They are defined on a whole bunch of different types, which are mostly numeric types, but also anything that is extending the comparable interface. If we have a look into this course at least, you have an example for here. So if this day of a week is a comparable, then we can also use course at least on this on day of a week type. Let's go to playground. Let's say that we have a variable int and it will be equal to 12. Now let's say we have a variable c for coerced and let's say now we use int that coerce at least and you can see here that we have the minimum value that we have to supply so let's say the minimum value is 8. What will happen? Our variable is set to 12 and then we want it to be at least 8. Let's print c let's run that and we get 12. We got 12, of course, because the minimum we want is 8, and 12 is bigger than 8. Now, instead, if we would have, for example, the minimum set to 20, then we get 20 because we have 12. Our variable is set to 12, but the minimum we want is 20, so we get 20 as a result. Then the method coerce at most works very similar to this, but now it will just only specify, we only specify over here what is the highest value that we want? I'll put it out of this method. So we have 12 over here, which is higher than 8. Then we will get the maximum allowed value, which is 8. Finally, the last method over here is coerce in. If we have a look into docs, this takes two arguments. So this time we are looking to keep the value in side of a range. So between the minimum value and the maximum, and they're inclusive over here. You can supply it with the two arguments, you can also supply a range over here, you can see there are a couple of different implementation of that. So let's say that we want this value to be between 8 and 20, and this of course should print, uh, print as 12, because 12 is in between this range. There we go. But if instead of 12 we would have 4 over here, then we are printing 8, and let's say we have 43, then we are printing the maximum of the allowed range. That's everything about coerced. Bye-bye.